Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me. All right, all right already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Hmm, I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during the robbery. Murdered! <gasps> you mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to keep it down. That's why nobody's seen hide in the hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. But Mr. Golding was such a big man! You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big... Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count on me. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you? Did you hear what we were talking about? Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work.
<coughs> How's it? Welcome to Chateau Felix, residence of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's helper. Are you here to see him? <coughs> Excuse me? But Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat, I'll let you in just now. Question number one. It's late, and it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? Ahem. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king, but you don't manage to find any prey. Then you find a tiger in a trap in the woods. The king is some way off and hasn't noticed the tiger yet. So, what do you do? Ahem. And... Question number three! You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked by a great cyber cat. You manage to overpower the cat, but it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. So, what do you do? Ahem! And now, to let the cat out of the bag, let... Perfect! You've proved that you're the cat's whiskers, a real hip cat. <coughs> you have permission to see Master Felix. You can go in. Hmm. I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You call me a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. There. I think I'll take a breather for a while. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well. Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes, you might just be able to assist me. There's a little undertaking I need some help with. And it's an old chum of mine, you see. Gorn and got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I, I've got a lot on my plate just at the moment. That's where you come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Capital! Right, I'll tell you what you need to do then. Around these parts, there are four great Sabercat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over here. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn. And that's precisely where the old chap is, you see. All I need you to do is go there and give him this. He's a clever old bean. Just give him that and he'll know what to do. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay me a visit. 
I'll have a little token of appreciation for you. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple of the Saber Cat statues. It's worth taking a look before you go off exploring. Ah! Golly! I nearly forgot! I suppose you've never ridden a great Saber Cat before, eh? Well, this'll be a fine chance. Speak to Tom. He'll give you what you need. Give the old speed a bit of a boost. What? Tom will explain the rest. Wasn't Master Felix inside? What? Master Felix asked you a favor? Ah, <gasps> he must think you're the cat's pajamas if he gave you the go-ahead to ride on one of his great saber cats. <gasps> great! I was right to let you in. I could tell you were a hip cat. That's it. No pain, no gain. Oh, yeah, looking smart, Blue. Okay, let me tell you the basics about riding a great sabre cat. When you're riding one of these cats, you can go a lot quicker than you would on foot. But you can't go further. You can just go to all the same places faster. Some people get that wrong, so I wanted to explain. If you get off and accidentally lose your cat, come back and see me. I'll lend you a cat as me. That's it. You're ready to go. Good luck. 